Hey guys, so we're here at the plant store in Bridgewater. I think it's, I think we're in Bridgewater. Pretty sure we're in Bridgewater. So you may or may not know that me and my mom love plants and flowers. And we always come here to look what they have because this place, it's called, um, it's called CNN, CNN Smith Farms. And um, they have awesome plants here. So we always come and see what they have they have vegetables they have flowers uh, they also have animals they have fresh produce so i'm gonna bring you through uh show you some of the flowers and then we'll head back home uh, i may or may not get something i don't know and i'll bring you back home and i'll show you what we have for plants in our garden and around the yard for now all right guys All right guys, so now I got a couple little plants. I'm gonna go over to um, Marshall's 
and see if they have a little planner on sale that I can put those in. If I, if they don't, I'm just going to find like a place in the yard to plant them. So I'll show you the plants I got when we get back. And then I'll give you a quick tour of the yard to show you all the different flowers we have. And that will probably be it. And um, if you guys have any questions or like recommendations for us with the plants we have, I would greatly appreciate it. So I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, everybody, so we're back. It's actually the next day. Um, just didn't have time to film this when I got home. So now I'm gonna show you all the plants we have in the yard. Um, I don't know all the names for them. So when I'm editing, I'll put uh, the name of the flower up in the one of these corners or something and you'll have the name, I'll find the name of them. So I think we'll start um, out in the front here. So let's get started. All right, so this is the first plant we got going for us. These are a kind of impatient. I'll um, find out what the real name of it is for you. Um, we actually had a different plant here before that we thought could take the sun because this spot right here pretty much gets direct sun all day, but it ended up, the sun ended up being way too strong for it. So we switched it up for this and I'll show you the plant that we had there before. Next we got, along with my, my donkeys right there, um, we got these pretty flowers. Um, These, again, I'm not exactly too sure of the name. I'll get them for you, I'll put them in the corner. But they're really pretty. We actually have these there pretty much every year. Um, they take sun really well. And they're really pretty because they got this like yellow, two like shades of yellow and that transfers into this real dark purple. Yeah, that's better. And they're really nice. So we have those there every year. Next we got this pretty little hanging plant. Um, these, once again, I'm not exactly too sure of the name, but they're really cool. They're kind of like a variety of colors. Like you can see this bud right here has like multiple different colors in it. And they're cool. They like the buds come up to like this dome shape. So we also got like these vine. I think these are called Vica, I'm pretty sure. <coughs> Growing out <coughs> the sides. Now this will probably get a lot bigger. I'm not sure the plant store they had plant like this and it was kind of like like a tree I guess it was kind of like a vine but they had it trained up for a tree kind of thing and I believe it's the same thing as this I think so we're thinking maybe bring this in for the winter and see if we can keep it good maybe we'll see I mean winter's months away but <laughs> um but yeah so we got these these are one of my personal favorites for this year so Next, we're moving on. So next, we got this. Um, this, I believe, this is a kind of plant that like, um, the flowers only bloom once. So with this, it all stems off of one vine. I actually bought this from a plant store in Prov no, Pawtucket, in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Um, I'll put the name in for you. And it's just this really long vine. This So this thing loves sun. It's like, loves it. It's insane. Um, this we've had for about a year and a half now because you can bring it in in the winter. It doesn't bloom as much because it doesn't get as much sun, but it stays alive. So these little buds right here, the buds only bloom once. So once the flower comes out, it dies and then it grows a new one back but they're really pretty. Um, none of them are bloomed right now, so I'll have to like insert a picture of what they look like, but they're super pretty. I think that one right there might come out later today after being in the sun, but it's really cool. And it just like, you just keep winding it around. We have one of those like um, trellis kind of things in there for it to wind around, but it's really cool. All right, so next we're moving on to These pink flowers right here, these also have the Vica, I believe it's called. 
Um, these get huge, absolutely huge. So this one up here, it's the same thing. It was a lot smaller before and it's already, it's already massive. We got a little hummingbird feeder up there. I saw some on Facebook today about they don't want you to use the store bought nectar anymore. So I think I'm gonna switch that out today and put in some homemade stuff. But I mean, that's an unrelated subject, <laughs> but um, just a side note. Um, so these get huge and they last all summer long and they love the sun. So it's a really good plant if you have like a high sun area uh, to get in there. Like, like I said, they're really pretty. And um, these also take a lot of water. So just a side note, you should probably just know you're gonna have to probably water them quite a bit every day. So next we got these. So these are really pretty. These, um, they just get these like big bunches of flowers. Another like high sun plant enjoys the uh, sun a lot. So uh, there's not really a lot to say about these. I mean, they're very common, so you'll find them anywhere. If you like them, you'll probably be able to find them. Now we got these. Uh, what are these called? We just bought these the other day. I don't remember but they're really pretty they come in all different colors this is another one that it likes high sun to partial sun so this is a good spot because this side of the house in the afternoon gets shade so it works out really well we got them in this little container that has bees painted on it that we've had since I was probably like six so <laughs> it's doing good so the flowers over here, you're probably gonna be like, hey, this was from another video because it was. So the flowers over here, the pink ones are the ones that we have planted in the planter that I carved into the stump. Now, I don't know why, this is insane. So these are the same flowers that I just showed you. There's something about the stump that makes these things grow insane. I, I don't understand why, they just do. So, I mean, didn't know that when I made the plant during the stump, but turning out to be a good thing. So, yeah, I don't know what the deal is with them. Like, they just grow crazy in this thing. It's like, I, I don't, I honestly don't have a reason. Maybe I'll try to do some research on it. I, I don't know. It's mind-blowing. Because you can see, but compared to the other ones, I, I just showed you, like, they're a lot smaller. I mean, that's, like, normal growth for those. They'll grow new buds and stuff, but, like, this one is just insane. I don't understand. And it's, it's growing nice all the way around. We got a little, this was a bird feeder I had in the house. We had to take it down because the squirrels are growing crazy. These are the plants I bought yesterday at the plant store. Um haven't put them in the bucket yet well they're in the bucket but I haven't actually potted them I'm gonna do that later today uh, what are these called I can tell you hold on they're called diamond frost I'm sure there's like a technical name for it I'll try to look that up for you guys those are the white ones. And then the purple ones are called Angel Face, Angel Face Blue Steel. So I don't know. I'm going to have to look that up for you guys. But I'm going to plant those later today. When I got them home, they were a little bit wilted. And I watered them last night. And they came back. And they're really pretty. And they look really nice next to those pink ones right there. So get those done today so I think next I'm gonna head over to I'd say the smaller section of irises we have um, iris is probably one of my favorite flowers so I love these um, didn't pick the dead ones off this morning so there might be some dead ones that's normal don't worry about that but as you can see right here we got a bunch of them these ones are all purple on this side as you can see some of those right there a little wilted um, that's normal that's just what they do once they bloom after a few days they'll shrivel up and you pick them off and they're really easy to grow all these irises all the ones I'm gonna show you were here when we moved here so this is just how they've been for decades and decades so I got these purple ones these are 
tiger lilies that haven't come up yet. They come up a little later. I'll put a picture up of what they look like when they bloom. They're super pretty. Another thing that's been here since before we moved in here, which we've been here since I was five and I'm almost 24 now, so. Got more of them. And this isn't even the big section. Wait till I get to that, guys. I don't know if I, got, I don't know if you guys can hear all those birds, but like we get a ton of birds in this yard. All right, so we're heading over the tree over here, where we got some more impatiens. There's a bunch of different kinds of impatiens. So this is kind of like the average kind of impatient that you would have. Um, I mean, there's not a ton to say about them. They're just regular impatience. They get these seed pods that um, you pick and they pop and the seeds inside and you dry them. And you can grow new impatience seedlings in the spring if you want to. If you don't, you just let them die and you can plant new ones. It, you can do either, but. So we got three of them hanging from this pine tree. Over here we got I have no idea what these are called. Um, <laughs> I'll insert the name. But they're really pretty, so they have these purple and green leaves. And these things get really tall. And all you really have to do is pick the... Um, when they want to go to seed, they'll like grow these like flowers at the top. And if you don't want them to go to seed, because then they'll start to die after, you just pick that... Um, it's, like, it's like a flower. It's like a bud. But after it flowers, it'll go to seed. Um... You just pick that off and they'll stay alive. They'll grow them back. So you have to go back every couple days and cut those off. But this is really pretty and it gets really big. So it's a good plan. It's really easy. You just water it. So we're gonna head over here now. We got some more impatience. This thing is absolutely loaded with them. Um, they're just pretty, they're just pink impatience. This thing's grown a lot since we planted it. I always like impatience so. I'm always a fan there. Now, before we go to the garden, I'm gonna bring you to the backyard. We got a couple more things and then I can bring you into the garden and show you what we got going in there. You guys wanna see, we got our shed there. Now we got these yellow flowers. Um, so these weren't the exact ones that we had in the front. I mean, it's the same flower, but these were always planted back here. The one we had in the front, the one that was in the little wheelbarrow, is over in the front yard. I'll bring you by it. It's in the shade now, so it doesn't get like direct sun. They're really pretty. We just got them hanging back here. Got our bushes, little baby bushes growing. So, bring you over to the rock garden that we have over here, and then I will show you the actual garden. So we got don't know what these are called um, but they get these big yellow flowers I'll put the name up these also I don't know what is about it we've been trying to figure that out these all of these like plants that come out every year are just like huge this year I don't <laughs> it's like unnecessarily big which is not like ever really a bad thing when it comes to plants but like it's we're running out of room Got those, got these little yellow, little yellow buddies there. Then we have some little succulents, little pink flowers. Those, they're usually yellow. I think it's cause they're new. That's why they look so green. Got more of the yellow. These guys, it's a lot of the same over here. Pink or purple. More yellow flowers and uh, more yellow flowers. This one right here is the one that we had in the front. It's doing way better. Um, those ones are kind of, those two buds, uh, those two blooms right there are kind of like past their prime at this point. That's why they're like wilting and falling over. But um, we're getting a lot new, a lot more new growth on this one. Like I said, it's doing way better from when it was in the front yard, so. Now, let's head over to the other rock garden, which is right next to it, and I will show you my favorite part. Look at all these irises, guys. 
I mean, like, why? <laughs> There's, I've never seen this many irises. And they're so pretty. Look at, oh, it's just, oh, oh. These are hands down, probably my favorite thing. And they just come back every year. I love them. Got some more right here. I don't even know. I mean, I think my part, the purple is probably my favorite. It's just because I love purple. But right next to the white, it's just so pretty. Oh. So, now we're going into the garden. So, we got eight tomatoes in here. Um, we have one early girl and I think seven beef steaks because those come out a little later. And those are all in here. We got some basil. And over there, those are cucumbers. Cucumbers. I don't know why I just said that like a child, but. So all this right here, that's actually mint. Um, mint's supposedly supposed to be kind of like a deterrent for a lot of animals. So we have that planted around. But um, come to realize that this is the second year it's been here. This stuff spreads. It's like the plague. <laughs> Um, at least it smells good, so that's like a good part about it, but man, just keep that in mind if you're gonna plant mint because it's gonna take over. We got a bunch of flowers planted around. So this is my tomato plant here. It's a lot smaller because when I got it, it was a lot smaller. I just wanted this one. It's um, heirloom tomatoes. I think it's called, you can't see the tag, but they're yellow pear tomatoes, so they they look like yellow pe pears when they're uh, fully grown. I always wanted to grow heirloom tomatoes, so I figured I'd just try this year. Um, we haven't figured out we haven't really figured out the fence situation yet that's gonna go around it. But since it's so small right now, I just have this basket over it. Um, we have lots of groundhogs in this yard, um, and the deer come around. The deer like to eat the leaves of the tomato plants, so. That's why we have a fence around the garden here and um, obviously the basket on top of this tomato plant. So now over here, got some more flowers hanging off our compost bin. Uh, this is just for decoration. I mean, there's not much storm behind those. Um, here's another view of the cucumbers, more mint. And then in here, we got four pumpkin plants. So last year, quick story about last year. Last year, we had squash in there and we didn't plant pumpkins, didn't. Um, I always buy pumpkins every year for jack-o'-lanterns because I adore Halloween, so we always have pumpkins. So I, or not even just, not just jack-o'-lanterns, but we get a bunch of pumpkins and stuff. Last year, this random, pumpkin plant grew out because in the winter we keep the compost inside this garden area because it keeps the ground like nutri uh, nutrient enriched I think is the correct terminology um, so then when we put the rest of the compost everywhere before we planted pumpkin plant grew out of it never had luck with pumpkins growing them and we got two pumpkins off of a plant that we didn't plant <laughs> And it was weird, they lasted until like, I just threw them away. They lasted until like two months ago. And we picked them in September. So, uh, so we figured we would try planting some more. So we got four of those over here. And then over here, we got four little watermelon plants. Now, I know you're gonna say those are way too close together. Um, I know. When I got them, I didn't really think about that. Uh, it was kind of an afterthought. And when I first got them, they were just, it was literally just a seed and a stem and they were way too delicate to try to move them. So I figured I'll establish like a little bit of a root system here in this cage before I just move them apart a little bit just to give them space to grow. That's my thought. We're gonna see if it works. I got them, I'm not gonna be upset if they die because I mean, that's gardening. I mean, sometimes stuff like that happens. So you just gotta, Way the way the good with the bad, I guess. So now over here, which is what I just got today, we got corn. Never planted corn before. 
I just got them because I wanted to try it. Um, I think I'm going to plant them somewhere over here. I actually only really wanted to get like two or three, but they only came in a four pack, so that was my only option. <laughs> so we went with the four pack. So I'm going to be planting those later. Um, by the way, we got a couple more yellow flowers. Now, where this fence is right here, that I'm showing you, all along there, I planted catnip seeds. Now, I did that because I don't remember where I watched it or where I read it, but I distinctly remember seeing it somewhere that if you plant catnip, obviously cats will come around like stray cats, and we have a lot of those around here, or wild cats or whatever, and they will come and, you know, try to eat the catnip, which is fine because that's what it's for. It will grow back. Um, but it will keep the groundhogs and stuff away because they don't like cats. So, I just figured I'd try it this year. It's not really too invasive. Like, it is a little bit, but it's so easy. Like, the root system isn't really an established, real, like, deep root system like a tree would be. So, it's easy to pull up if it starts to move. So, kind of like the same thing with the mint. Like, it spreads, but at least it's easy to take out. So, that was my thought on planting the catnip. So, we're going to see if that works. Hopefully, it does. And, um, that's pretty much it, guys. I know it's kind of a lot. We got a lot of flowers in this yard. Um, but they're really pretty. I mean, honestly, the hardest part is probably when you plant them. Um, and obviously having to water them every day, but as long as you like keep giving them like plant food and stuff like that, they'll stay alive. Well, hopefully. I mean, I mean, I'm not going to give you like say, oh, your plants will be fine if you feed them because it, it does depend a lot on the ground you have and the soil you have. So, um, if you're going to plant some plants, make sure you research them first. Um, and just do what they say. Uh, take like tips like the squashes and the cucumbers and the watermelon. You can get these things called vine borers. Where it's basically like a bug that lays its eggs in the vine and it will kill the vine. So we found this stuff, this like powder, I'll insert a photo of it, that will deter those from getting inside. And it's non-toxic. It's just, it's not a poison. It's more like a, a ground up substance that like gets in between like the plates that the bugs have and that's what kills the bugs. So we're gonna try that because um, we've had trouble with those before. Not so much with like the squashes, but like for some reason they always go after the cucumbers and stuff like that. So trying that this year. Um, you get hormones on tomatoes. Uh, I actually learned something new today apparently because hornworms are so hard to find because they're like the same color as the tomato plants. So I actually learned something new today on a YouTube video that if you bring a black light out at night, they'll glow and you know, the tomato plants won't. So that's a new thing. We're gonna try that again. We're gonna try that, not again. We're gonna try that this year. Um, it's kind of interesting. So maybe that will work. So you have to watch for hornworms. Um, another thing is, I believe it's for the hornworms that you can see the bug that lays the hornworm egg. Maybe. I might be getting this wrong or it might be another bug, but there's a bug that will go after your garden plants. And um, when it's flying, you'll see it. It looks like a hummingbird kind of. But it's not, I mean, there's definitely differences between it, but like you'll mistake it sometimes. And you just want to keep a lookout for that because we do get hummingbirds too. But sometimes they, that bug looks like a hummingbird. So if you see that bug, check your plants is basically what I'm saying. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If you need any um, tips or you have any questions about gardening, um, I'm not the biggest professional, but my mom, which I do all this stuff with, she's really good. So if you have any questions, pop a question and I'll try to get an answer for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Thanks guys. Bye.